this portion of the WSAV Thursday Night Blitz. Game of the Week is brought to you by Ford. Go further. Tyler Pullum, quarterback so far, completed three passes, 116 yards, and two touchdowns. Pretty efficient for the offense and quarterback, the senior quarterback, Tyler Pullum. And, you know, Pullum's a great baseball player, too. But a lot of people say that, and he's, and Revel said, that he wants to play college football. And there's no, no doubt in my mind that someone somewhere in a pretty decent program needs a quarterback. Second year working with Coach Farley a lot, very closely. 6'1", 190 pounds. Tyler Pullum, a great student, NCAA qualifier already. A tremendous student of the game. You know, even as a freshman, uh, he was in at 7 a.m. watching film nearly every day. He has not. He doesn't have offers on the table. He's already talked with Furman, Wofford, Valdosta State. He definitely wants to play on the next level. Right now, though, Coach says he only has one concern, and that's helping South Effingham to a state championship. Kickoff inside the 10-yard line, and again, we'll see Bradwell Institute. Nice return straight up the middle. Big hole. Breaks one to the left-hand side. Huge return all the way into South Effingham territory. Terrius Cremiel. Gives Bradwell Institute great field position to start off their next possession. That is exactly what they wanted to do on special teams because, I mean, and, and that right there, that kind of gets you out of that bad punt. You made a really big play on special teams right there. Now you are on the F South Effingham side of the field. So, you know, you've got an opportunity to make things work here. Also, it kind of opens up that playbook a little. You don't have that feeling that your back is against the wall with an offense like that. So it opens things up a little bit more. So the wing T offense back out there under Quinn McMassey. Quick stand, oh, st handoff, excuse me, straight up the middle. Again, we're seeing a big dose of Kevin Harris running the football. Have not seen a whole lot of Eccles yet. So Harris gains. So we'll give him five on the run. Well, and you know, right there, that is a quick snap that, that doesn't even give you a chance to get set. I mean... I, I go back and forth with uh, Hill all the time about the semantics and just get it to the B-back. So, again, he has um, Harris and Luther Eccles in the back. Keeps it himself. Nice play fake by Quinn McMassey. McMassey runs around the 40, the 35. There's a first down for Quinn McMassey. Seven on the play will give him. And now uh, you've, got, you've got Bradwell starting to pick up some movement here. I mean, they haven't done this all game. They're starting to pick up a little movement. You've got to look at a situation now. If you are, if, if you're South Effingham, you know you might want to tighten up the defensive pressure and everything. On the outside there, uh, you had Luke McCann trying to go down and make the tackle, and he still was able to get out. So you got to play that perimeter a little bit better. Your replays right there are brought to you by your Savannah Low Country Honda dealers. Honda is the power of dreams. Here comes Luther Eccles and Eccles. Bursts forward, a six-foot frame, or just a powerful player. Eccles, I think we'll give him six on the play. We'll check out the spot here on the near side. We'll give him five on the run. You know, and again, going back to special teams, the whole thing that set this up was Criminal's return. So it's second and five, we'll call it. Again, the wing T offense, starting offense. Quinn McMassey takes the, gives it up the middle, and Luther Eccles, nowhere to go that time. He was met instantly. I think that was big 28 again. That's Kareem Taylor, the leader, in there very quickly. And Taylor with a big hand pat to Trent Ziegler, who was also in as well. So good solid defense for South Evingham. A loss of two on the play. That right there is just an example of how well they close the gaps. And that defensive line really owns the Bradwell, pushing the Bradwell offensive line back, making them reestablish the line of scrimmage. And that, that that's part of it. They're going to look to pass the ball instead. A handoff right underneath the Luther Eccles, and I don't think they fooled anybody but the camera right there. And actually, he was going to 21. Excuse me, Desmond Brown on the carry, so he's been mixing it up. So Desmond Brown, I don't think he got a yard on the play. We'll check it out again. Looked like he was going to run the football, but no, stopped immediately. Great play on defense. I think it was 92 coming in on the play. Yeah, McKinley Newbill, give him credit with the tackle. Well, and McKinley, Newble is the, um, he's the leader in, Newble's the leader in the region with 78 total tackles for South Effingham's defense. All right, here comes Bradwell in motion, gives it to him. That's Eccles around the right-hand side. Can he get to the outside? Kind of gets to the outside, but I think he's going to be short of the first down. It was a nice play, and I think he's going to be short, but Eccles might have got about four yards on the play, but not enough for a first down. So South Effingham is going to get a chance to, well, we'll see a fourth down probably. 
Well, and even going fourth down right here, uh, you know, obviously in a game like this, 14 to nothing, uh, you really don't have anything to lose. You're just trying to move the ball. Obviously, Bradwell's probably going to go for it. But that's a perfect example, as you just talked about, Kareem Taylor. Kareem Taylor's playing sideline to sideline there. He goes to the opposite sideline in front of the Bradwell bench and makes the tackle. I mean, coming all the way over. So that's, you know, that just shows the hustle. So here comes South Effingham, stuffed on the fourth down on the right-hand side. So it's Pullum going to keep it himself. Pulls it back in and plows forward for, might have got back to the line of scrimmage. So we're down to the 4-12 mark. South Effingham in control early. 14-0 here on the Thursday Night Blitz Game of the Week. We can't thank you so much for joining us on my LC. If you want to catch a replay, Sunday morning, 10.30 on WSAV Channel 3. Or welcome all those watching us online worldwide, WSAV.com. So it's Tyler Pullen with 10 touchdowns so far passing this year. And there's Patrick Brown. And Patrick Brown breaks free, crosses the 30-yard line, but he'll be shy of a first down, so it'll bring up a third. And that last play, uh, the last play before that, Jarvis Pate made the tackle. On that play, it was Josh Ingram, number 20. Josh Ingram's a junior linebacker, also plays a little bit of strong safety. Very, very good football player, very much a student of the game. Some schools uh, showed a little early interest, but he is just, he loves the game of football. And, you know, you've got to love kids that love the game of football. Here comes South Effingham, shotgun formation, third down. Pullum rolls to his right, throws it way outside, and hits his favorite target of the day. Again, licking Luke McCann. So they'll get about 10 on the play and a first down. McCann is just, I mean, he, he, right now he has got, uh, his hands are just like stick them. McCann with 78 yards receiving on three catches, one of them going for a two-yard touchdown. Here's the replay, and just a great route, and, Hits, oop, there we go, hits his target at the bottom. Tackle made by DeMarcus Barjner. Pullum checks his wrists and has the play on first down for the Mustangs at the 40-yard line. Shotgun formation again, looking to throw the ball. Fires across the middle, nice slant route, and there's room. Crosses the 40, he's got a blocker. 30, 20, 10, 5, into the end zone, touchdown, I believe that was Kareem Taylor on the slant route. That'll go for 58 yards. 58 yards on the slant route, on a route that honestly is originally drawn up for a uh, five to eight yard uh, gain, and when you gain 58 yards on that, uh, that's pretty good. To check the replay to get the exact time, but I believe that was 58 yard touchdown. There is Tyler Pullum. There's the replay, and just a nice slant route. Great route run. And then he got a block, and then he had his buddy Luke McCann helping out, and he's taking it right into the end zone. Yeah, it's amazing uh, what you're seeing. Once, once a South Effingham player catches, everybody turns into blockers. I mean, it, it, it's amazing just to see that, to see a receiver just really hurt, really work their self to, to block for other receivers. And South Effingham uh, looking to uh, talk it over. Looks like there is an injured uh, Bradwell Tiger over in the corner. I'm going to make a, a correction to that. As we said, those jerseys bunching up pretty good. That wasn't 28. It was 29. So it's Travis Simmons with a 58-yard touchdown first. There we go. They're all lined up. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So it's 21 nothing. Bradwell quickly jumping on top or falling behind, I should say, to the South Effingham Mustangs. Now we'll check that replay. Thanks to our producer director, Dan Flax, for bringing all these replays brought to you by your Savannah Low Country Honda dealers. And just a great slant route right there. 29, that is, not 28 as it appears. And the rest was really his own work, just speed. And then he had his, uh, uh, his buddy number two there kind of putting a little block in, did Luke McCann. So the kick is kind of a knuckleball to the right-hand side, and it stays in inside the 10. That's what will be picked up at the nine-yard line. Great defensive play. Give it to 48 on the tackle. That's Josh Edenfield for the second time on a kickoff return. Edenfield with a huge play, and Bradwell pinned inside the 10. 
Edenfield gets down the field, and, I mean, he literally just bulldogs the guy. I mean, pins the ears down flat. Here's an old re- rodeo term. Here's your replay brought to you by your Savannah Low Country Honda dealer. And, yeah, he got there very quick, Coach. Read it all the way. Great open field tackle. That was Quinn McMassey on the return that just had nowhere to go, number 12. So here comes the Bradwell Tigers and their offense. Quinn McMassey is in the backfield. He has Kevin Harris back there with him. And, of course, big 22, Luther Eccles, the senior running back. We'll see if they can move the football again. So McMassey gives it to Eccles. Eccles over on a trick play to 24. That's Amari Herte, and it's red perfectly. Nowhere to go. Herte is stuffed immediately. Again on the tackle, that's McKinley Newbill. That's the second time we heard his name tonight. Well, you know, and we, we talked about this. I, I don't, you know, you got to do whatever you got to do. You got to surprise them. But, uh, you know, everybody wants to be the Monday morning quarterback, but it's kind of dangerous to run a little uh, razzle-dazzle play in the back uh, of your own end zone there. But they did not get sacked, so they will come back, and it'll be second down. Clock has not started, and I'm not sure why it really shouldn't have stopped to be honest with you now they'll start it back up they must have had a spot issue so now they're pinned back inside the five yard line quick handoff to the left hand side Eccles and Eccles kind of gives them a little bit of breathing room out to the 10 yard line so Eccles gains four 11 four carries only 11 yards for Luther Eccles well under his Yards per carry average. And Eccles, Eccles is, I mean, he's been the heart and soul of that offense for a long time. So it's McMassey with Eccles in motion, and he'll send him back the other way in motion, and he'll change the play for this wing T offense. He has Kevin Harris standing right behind him, gives it to Eccles on the slant across the right-hand side. Eccles trying to get something, surges forward, gets a couple of yards, but he'll be well shy of the first down. Well, Eccles is trying to run... Um, you can call it jet motion, but it's just the old cross buck trying to get to the outside and just nothing there. I mean, South Effingham's defense is there. They've got everything covered, set in the post, and then they've got everybody flying to the football. There's your replay brought to you by your Savannah Low Country Honda dealers, and it's punt time for the Bradwell Tigers standing on his one-yard line is Deion Stewart to punt the football. Good snap, no rush whatsoever. A line drive knuckleball punt crosses the 50-yard line, and they're going to get out of the way. So it'll be handed down at the 43-yard line, and that's where we'll see the offense of South Effingham come out on the field once again. And that gives us a chance. You know, it's been a very difficult season so far for the Bradwell Tigers, and I had a chance to sit down with head coach Greg Hill, and he knows that he's building a program, and it's going to take some time to build this program. Let's listen in on the head coach. Well, the challenge is, uh, you know, getting them to continue to believe and, and work, and, and our kids have, have done that. You can see the, the strides that, we, that, that they've made. We just would like for them to experience the win, to, to have the success. Um, they they come close, uh, but just to continue to push them and, and, and for them uh, to continue to work hard it, uh, says volumes about them. And as he said, Coach, you know, they have come close, a, a loss to um, Statesboro in, in overtime, and they've had, I think, three games that they were very competitive on. They lost 13-6 to Calvary, a 17-14 tough setback at Richmond Hill. So, again, a team that's making some strides, and it just takes time, and you have to have patience. Well, you do. You have to have patience. and I mean, and Greg Hill does. Greg Hill has great patience, and he's a part of the community, and, you know, he does the best he possibly can. I mean, you know, you're in a tough situation and you find out how tough you are, and, and, he, and I think he's doing a great job. So South Effingham at the 41-yard line. Pullum's looking long and steady. Hits a slant right across the middle. Nice play into the hands of Marcus Boyd. So a gain of, we'll give him 30 on the play. I think it's 30 on the play, so... Just a man, they, they run great routes. They run specific routes, and they do a good job. They've run two slants. They ran a fade route we saw on the right-hand side, and we saw another slant on the left-hand side, so they've mixed it up across the field really well. So that's going to take us down to the end of the first quarter, and there's your score, 21 nothing. 
South Effingham on top of Bradwell. We'll be back with the second quarter play right here on the Thursday Night Blitz Game of the Week.